We're given the angle of depression of the swimmer, which is the angle from the horizontal, always, is 45 degrees. And we're given the distance of the diver from the coins, it's 20 meters. We're also given the depth of the pool, so the depth of the pool could be either here or here. And you could see maybe that this would create a right angle triangle. So if we assume that swimmer and diver travel at the same speed, that means we would just compare the distances to see who would get there first. We're given the diver's distance, so we would just need to find the swimmer's distance. We'll call that hypotenuse h. Now we look at what we're given. We're given the hypotenuse, an angle, and the opposite from that angle. Therefore, we would use sine. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we'll plug that into the equation. Sine of 45 equals the opposite 14 over the hypotenuse h. So when you're solving for a variable on the bottom in the denominator, you can switch that with the value on the left side. So if you've done this before, you might remember that these two values would switch, meaning the hypotenuse h equals 14 over our sine of 45. Those two things will always switch and when you've done it enough times you can just do that immediately. This equals 19.8, don't forget your units, meters. And comparing the distances now between the swimmer and the diver, we could see that the swimmer has a shorter distance and so they would reach the coins first.